Hello family, welcome once again to Obapa's Kitchen. In this video, we are going to learn how to make a really delicious, authentic Ghanaian kutumri stew or parava sauce. I think Nigerian calls it a gushi. So please stay with me, don't go nowhere and let's start cooking. So I'm going to start with my melon seeds. In Ghana, we call it akatwa and Nigerians call it a gushi, I think. So I am going to pour half of it in the water and i'm going to soak it for it to be tender and it will be easy for me to blend it so if you blend it right right away you can but it will be hard it is take a lot of energy so I'll just leave it on to soften up so after that i have in some kale and spinach i'm using this frozen one and if you have the fresh one you can use it so I just turned my stove on to a medium heat and I'm going to steam my vegetables. So I'm going to pour the spinach first and I'm going to add the rest. So with this, don't add any water because it is frozen and it has water in it. So please don't add any more water. Just leave it on and cover it and have it to steam. And it will not take longer, it will just stay for about 5 minutes to 7 minutes and it will be ready. So next I am going to wash in my vegetables. So I just turn on my water and I am going to add in 3 large fresh tomatoes. And I have in also habanero which is coming up next. And I am going to add in large onion and I have ginger root right here so with the ginger root i am going to peel off the skin so after you washed your vegetables please make sure that everything is well cleaned and removed and then let's peel the skin off from the onion yeah so after you clean the onion you can just leave it aside and then we are going to clean the ginger roots i will show you like how you can do it like so easily you know, that's what my mom used to do it back in Ghana. <laughs> yeah, that is how I peel it. It is so easy and that way it will be clean and it will be ready to go. So after you clean up your ginger, we are just going to go back and check on our spinach and see how it's doing so far. So this thing here is been steaming for about five minutes and as you all can see, it's still frozen and I have to, you know, have it soften up so i'm just gonna cover it back again and leave it on for two minutes so after two minutes i have my vegetables ready so i just cut my onion into two so i'm going to use one to blend and but before let me just go ahead and remove all the tomato seeds so after i remove the tomato seeds we are going to cut it into pieces so after our tomato is nicely cut into pieces we are going to set it aside and I'm going to show you how to blend your other vegetables for the stew in a sanka way. So with this I have my garlic, habanero, ginger roots and the half onion that I cut, remember? And I'm going to blend all of it together. But just you know if you don't have the asanka that is akotorua and eta, you can use your blender to blend all your vegetables. So as you can see, I am going to keep blending it until it is well blended into a paste consistency in which it is ready right now and I am going to set it aside. So back to our gushi, it is nicely clean and it's very soft. So I am going to strain all the water and then wash it one more time, you know, just to get it really cleaned. And this way it feels so soft and it will be easy to blend it. You know, you don't have to stress about it at all. But if you don't soak it and you just blend it right away, it takes a long time. You know, that is my experience so far. So now I have my stove also turned on. I am going to place my pot in there and I am going to let it heat up a little bit and I'm going to add in my oil. With the oil, you can add any oil of your choice. I'm a, I am using palm oil right now. But you can add any oil, you can add coconut oil as well. So I'm going to add in my half diced onion and I'm going to leave it fried for about a minute. Mm. 
Engono is smelling so good. This is Zomi Engo in Ghana. If you know Zomi, you know, right? <laughs> yeah, so let it cook for about a minute. So after a minute, I am going to blend in my gushi it is ready and it is very soft like i said if you don't have the apotoyua and the eta which is asanka you can use your blender okay and it will do the same thing for you so after everything is well blend we are going to leave it aside and we're going to check our stew and see how it's doing so far so our onions looks really ready so i'm going to add in my onion ginger and garlic paste right here and i'm going to leave it on to cook for about seven minutes mm, it's smelling so good my kitchen hi i from ankasa so after seven minutes i'm going to add in my tomato yeah you can add in your tomato and give it a very good stir and let it cook for about five minutes mm. it's too nice but before then let me go ahead and add in some seasoning so i have an all pepper season right here and i'm gonna add in some salt and i have my jamaican hot spicy jerk season i love these spices it is very tasty and i'm adding in right now so after that give it a stir and let it steam or cook mm. if you have it too <laughs> But let's go ahead and check what we are going to add into our stew. So I have in my mackerel and I'm opening right now with this mackerel. You can get it for your regular normal store. They sell it everywhere. So I'm just going to add it into my stew and I'm going to add some of the corned beef in there. So with this corned beef, I divided it into two and I'm going to use it, half of it. And after that, leave it on to stir and gently and slowly let it simmer and cook beautifully just how you want it so let me go ahead and add in my agushi because since the tomato stew is doing really amazing and it's cooking really nice add it and then cover it and have it steam for about five minutes mm. and you still wait let me see <laughs> yeah. So after five minutes, I am going to open my stew. Oh, looking really amazing. So just go ahead and stir really gently and slowly and then cover it again and have it cook for extra two minutes. Mm, nice. So after two minutes, we are going to add in our spinach. The spinach is steamed really nice. It is not very watery because it is just perfect cooked. That is how I want it. So go ahead and stir it and then just let it simmer. Lower your heat into a low and then leave it on to simmer and cook really slow. That way it takes the time and it's going to taste really amazing. And you're going to enjoy. So after our stew, it's been sitting and cooking. Let me just go ahead and put my yam on the stove. So I have my yam diced up and washed and I'm leaving in the skin. Yes, you can cook yam with the skin on. And this is an authentic way of cooking yam. My grandpa used to do this a lot. I remember back in, you know, when we were kids, it was really nice. And my mom also does it as well, especially when it's yam time. This is the perfect, you know, to cook your yam that way. And add in some salt and make sure that you cover it and let it boil. Trust me, you will love it how it is. So back to our stew. It is looking really nice. It is almost ready. So I am adding in my fried lamb. You can use any meat of your choice. So after you add your lamb, just stir and then lower your heat again and leave it on for about five minutes and your stew will be ready. And today we are going to serve it with our yam or you can serve it with rice, plantain and also don't forget to try it at home. So I hope on show BBR, this is how I make my stew. Until I see you once again, stay safe, stay joyful and have a blessed day. Bye bye.